are here. It is May. We are not planting because it's wet, uh, it's cold, and it's windy pretty much all the time here. So we are here with Stephanie Grant with Unilever. Yep. Um, and uh, we've been kind of just cruising around and checking out cover crops. Our camera moved. It's fine. It's fine. Hold on. <laughs> that will get edited out. So, nope. it, no, yeah, it's definitely not getting edited out. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, welcome. So, yeah, welcome. Welcome to Rippy, Iowa. This is you're in front of our brand new warehouse that we're leasing for the time being. Um, probably the most important question is, what's it like living with a name, two first names? Has anyone asked you that? Stephanie Grant. Well, throw my maiden name in, which is oh. my middle name, and that's another one. It's Millie. Oh, wow. I get called Millie a lot. People, well, instead yeah. of, because my email still has Millie, sure. so people yeah. will address it to Millie instead Three of stuff. Three first yeah. names. Plus you have a middle name. Four first names. So. That's wild. What What is your, uh, what's your function at Unilever? I wear a lot of hats for Unilever. Um, I head our external affairs office in Washington, D.C., so I get to do all the fun government affairs um, relationships with we call NGOs, the non-governmental organizations. Um, and then I also get to, the fun part of my job is working on all of our sustainable sourcing programs. So I get to work with our brands, such as Hellman's, our procurement guys who do the buying of our soy oil, um, and our suppliers down to the farmer level to design and implement all of our programs around sustainable and regenerative agriculture. Yeah. Hellman's is the main age of choice for Iowa Cover Crop. Oh yeah. As it should be. <laughs> so uh, we've been participating in your program here for probably three or four years, roughly. Uh, tell us more about your program with cover crops and, and helmets. Yeah, we've been working with Iowa farmers since about 2012, 2013. And in 2015, we did our first pilot around cover crops because we were working with farmers, understanding what practices you all wanted to do, maybe needed some assistance in, in helping with, whether it's financial, technical. So in that time, um, we've kind of designed out a program where we um, work with Practical Farmers of Iowa to provide technical assistance. We provide some financial assistance. We'll pay $10 an acre on cover crops and help you guys, help farmers such as yourselves and the ones you're selling to, plant cover crops to, to go green, as we like to say in the spring. Definitely, right? Yeah, we push a lot of our customers to the cash share that you guys provide, and it, it definitely makes a big difference. Do you think there's... Uh, the potential for more companies to do something similar? I hope so. We brought in Pepsi as a partner on corn uh, a few years ago, uh, Vax, because we discovered we had some overlapping sourcing regions. And so yep. with the uh, crop you know, rotation being corn and soy here, it just made sense for both of us having the same kind of mentality around what we were trying to do with farmers. Um, I don't want to talk at farmers. We don't want to tell them what to do, but we really want to learn from what they're doing and try to help in a way that's most beneficial to, you know, obviously help the soil and build better soil, help, but help in the economics too in the end. So it can help pay for that cover crop to get established and then hopefully the farmers will see the savings yep. as you go on and you can have less um, less nitrogen use, less chemical use and all those things and less passes, which saves on fuel. So hopefully in the end, it's that trade off of a little extra expense, but then you see the savings down the road. And what geographical area are you covering today? So basically, um, our supplier is out of Des Moines, so we kind of go that whole 100 mile radius around the Des Moines, give or take. Um, and we work with a lot of the co-ops in the area, so you don't have to worry about who you deliver to for the most part. Um, you can contact PFI and they'll let you know uh, if you are in our sourcing region or not. Well, perfect. What's your favorite cover crop? I'm, a, I'm a, just a simple girl. I like the rye. Well, thank you for coming on under the covers with us. And if you want to learn more, you can talk to us. We know about the program. You can talk to uh, Practical Farmers or your local cooperative retailer. And we appreciate your partnership and what you guys are doing to help get that out. So, cool. Thank you. Thanks.